my channel Learn at Cloud Analytics. So today I'll walk you through the process of creating a top and analysis in Power BI. This technique allows us to identify and visualize the top performing items or entities based on a specific metric or a measure. So let's get started. So here I would like to demonstrate you with an example which I've already created and we would then be able to replicate the same with another approach. So here, as you see, this is my parameter, which is uh, user friendly, where let's say that the users are interested to look at the top uh, 10 records within this particular visual. So then they can just slice and dice this particular visual here. And uh, based on the value that they have selected on this parameter value, the corresponding visuals have been updated automatically. So here I have created two separate visuals. One is based on my customer name and the top end values are based on the sales are regarding this customers. And the other visual is uh, providing us the top 10 uh, products based on the sales value. So how do we create this particular report uh, dynamically within Power BI? So let's try to understand this uh, with step-by-step -step illustration and recreate the same uh, in a separate new page. So let me go to the first uh, the new page. So I've already connected to a sample data set. So here I've been using the Superstore sample data set and I would also share this particular data set attached in the description so that you would be able to follow along as you watch this video. So the first step that we need to do here is uh, obvious that we need to connect to the data set. That would be the first step. So once we are able to connect to the data set being imported within Power BI desktop, then the next step is to analyze this particular requirement on how do we achieve this uh, to get the top and analysis. So to get the top and analysis, I understand that there are few things that we have to break it down. First is that uh, let's say that if I just bring in the uh, let me bring in the customer name and the total sales uh, with respect to that particular uh, customers. Okay, let me just expand it. And uh, here you can see that it is already creating the view in a descending format where we can see that Sean Miller is having the highest sales for that particular uh, in the overall region and everything since we have not added any uh, specific filter so it is taking based on the overall data that my data set has so now i do not want it to, so any organization or any project we are not intended to look at everything that is coming in from the data set right rather we need to draw the key insights so which is more effective when uh, looking at that particular data so that is where this top and analysis comes into play. So I would rather be interested to look at the top customers or probably the bottom customers so that I can focus to expand my business in that particular region or with respect to that particular customers. So here in this example, I would like to focus on the top entities. So here it is like the top customers based on the sales measure value. Now, how do I get that particular value? So as you see here, this view is already providing us that information, but on the overall uh, customers uh, related sales value. So in order to get the just the top 10 customers being isolated separately, first I need to give a categorization based on the amount of sales that each customer holds. So how do I categorize this? By assigning a rank against to that particular customer based on my sales value. So that would be the first step that I would need to uh, look into. So after a assign a, a unique rank against to each of my customers with respect to my sales, then I also need to understand how this ranking has to be evaluated. Should that rank be evaluated based on a specific customer or should that be considered based on the overall data on that particular raw column or in with respect to that particular visual data? right so that would be the application of my rank against to my data so that is my step two and then the third step is once we were able to categorize this uh, data based on the ranking against to my customers the next step would obviously be to dynamically um, uh, enable this mechanism for the users to uh, look at the 
top n values so i don't want to fix this value by just saying uh, i'll just create a report based on top 5 customers or top 10 customers but rather i'd like to give this flexibility given to the users who can themselves be able to uh, specify which top entities they are uh, interested in and therefore we need to create a parameter and integrate it with respect to my calculation so that it would be dynamically being filtered on that particular visual and displaying the corresponding data with respect to the selection being made so this is how we would need to break down this particular task today and let us go ahead and jump into the step-by-step -step, uh, implementation so the first thing is we need to create the ranking allocated right so for the convenience of understanding let me just transform this particular visual from bar chart to a uh, table uh, structure so that we can actually look at the values and it is more simplified to consider so let me quickly um, expand it what i would do is i'll quickly go back to this i'll just select this visual and select the format painter so that i can come back to this visual and say format so now the formatting has been applied automatically all right now i'll go back to my orders table on the right side of my data panel and i'll say create a new measure so why are we trying to create a new measure because we are interested to evaluate the rank associated to each customer with respect to their overall sales value and therefore we need to create a measure instead of a calculated column so the measure would be let me call this measure as rank of customer maybe i'll call it as new because i've already had the other one created for my demonstration now what would be the logic to create this rank so the function that i'm going to use here is the rank x function so rank x is an iterator so which would help us to evaluate the uh, rank with respect to multiple rows in the given column so why are we not considering to look at the rank instead of a rank x means the rank function is basically helps us to calculate the rank of a specific value within a column so if i have to use rank right the results that i would see in the output would be every customer would hold the same rank like one 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 so which is not the right value right instead i would like to look at the ranks being assigned with respect to all the rows in the given column considering the overall sales value with respect to each of my row item and that is where i'm using my iterator function which is the rank x expression now here the first value that we need to provide is okay let me first try to minimize this okay so now the first expression that we need to add up here is rank x of yeah so now you could see the syntax to it right so the rank x of here i would add another expression called all and my table orders against to my column which is my customer name so i would say orders of customer name okay and then i need to add based on my measure value which is my total sales comma and i don't want to uh, provide uh, anything here um, so i'll just leave this uh, value as empty and the order i would say i'd like to display it by the descending order that's it now let me hit on apply all right now let's try to understand this particular expression here so in order to evaluate the rank being assigned to each of my customers with respect to my sales together in the entire column i have used my iterator function called rank x and then i've also used the all within that rank expression now why did i even go with the all expression because if i do not use my all expression here it would uh, 
not ignore the context of my filters within that particular visual and therefore it is important for me to avoid that being added up okay so that's why i have used this all on top of my uh, customer name column so to be more precise this all expression would um, avoid any filters on that particular visual so excluding the context filter it would try to evaluate this particular logic all right and then based on what measure are we trying to evaluate this expression based on my total sales so total sales is an explicit measure that i've added up in this particular raw calculation so it's nothing but uh, being evaluated based on sum of sales that's it so that expression is being introduced within this particular logic and here the descending is the order by like uh, based on how i should uh, sort my data that is what i have mentioned in this now that i've created this rank let me quickly add that rank on this uh, visual so that we can compare if my values have been created correctly or not right so you could see that against to my customer and the sales value i have a unique rank being allocated and which is looking absolutely fine so i don't see any uh, incorrect uh, ranks being populated but rather it is taking up the right ranks so the highest sales uh, assigned customer is having the lowest rank which is nothing but the highest rank here and uh, the lowest sales uh, associated customer being having the highest rank number okay so that's how this ranking has been allocated now then now the next step would be that we have to create a calculation to get that functionality to get, uh, retrieve the top 10 customers or top 5 customers so let me do first the manual approach and then i'll also show you how you can transform that to a dynamic approach so i will call this as top n by customer okay and here the formula would be if so i'm using a uh, if expression which is a logical expression so i'm saying if my rank of customer new is below five then what do i wanted to see i wanted to see the total sales value that's it now i'll hit on apply and let me bring that uh, measure value onto my visual so i'll say right so now you can see that the total sales value is now being displayed against to my top five customers and not for the other customers that have other ranks so this is one way now what i can try to do here is i can try to remove these unnecessary columns being populated so that it is more e um, easier for me to look at this particular data so now you can see that uh, i just have my top five customers and the associated total sales now this is just a manual approach the limitations of using this approach is that uh, the developer who is creating this report can only be able to uh, update or modify that particular value within that if condition so in case if a user is interested to look at the top 10 customers then that flexibility has not been provided to the user and again the use uh, the developer might need to undergo the same change where the person has to come back to this uh, uh, calculation and update this phi to the other value as needed by the customer so which is a repetitive and cumbersome task and therefore the better way of doing or avoiding this uh, hazel is that by assigning this with a dynamic value now how do we create a dynamic value by creating the parameters within power bi now creating power bi parameters is quite simple so i'll show you how to create that so we just need to go to this modeling tab on the top and then we see this new parameter option so just click on this drop down next to the new parameter and then we see two options on how we can create a new parameter for this particular example i am using this numeric range and in this window that we see here i just need to specify a name for this parameter so i'll call this as 
top n new and the data type would be the whole number and i can specify what should be the minimum and the maximum value within which the users would be able to toggle between the values and get the list updated dynamically so i leave the minimum value to 2 and the maximum value to 20 with an increment of 1 okay and i'm also enabling this option which is add slicer to this page so that it gives us an option to the user to slide through the values on that particular visual so i'm just hitting on create now all right so now i have my uh, slicer being created and as you see here i'll just add five so let me increase this value to seven but do you see some difference here um okay so what i'll do here is i'll just try to expand okay so you could see the slicer value right okay i think this should be perfect now so at least we could see this so what is happening currently is though i've created a parameter and i'm able to toggle through the values but the report or the visual that we've created is not actually getting updated so how do i make sure that my parameter value uh, data should reflect on my corresponding visual so for that we need to do the linking or we have to associate my parameter to be integrated within my logic that i've created earlier so again i'll go back to my uh, data and i'll uh, optimize that uh, logic which i've created uh, the top end so here instead of five i'll just remove this five and replace it by top and new and now i'll just hit on apply and now you could see that this report has automatically been updated to the value that i've selected in my slicer of parameter value so it is displaying three six seven and eight now let's look at our uh, slicer so on the slicer i have eight so now if i toggle around this uh, slicer you could see that it is dynamically getting updated on my visual also all right so this is how we can make a dynamic uh, uh, top n entities based on the user selection all right now you might have another question coming up in your mind like okay this is working fine when we have a single column being added up on this particular visual now what happens if i have to introduce an additional column does it still function as needed or does it break and it will not function as required so let's try that as well now i'm just selecting this visual and let me bring in um maybe region as another column let me uh, just place this on top of my customer name so i have uh, the region column customer name column and then my top end sales value now let's try to look at this data here so i'll just sort this uh, region so if you carefully observe currently my slicer value is updated to display the five records within my customer right the top five uh, entities being displayed on that particular data now what is happening here within my region i am having the top five customers data being displayed so i think this is how it should work right so my function or the logic which we have created earlier is working absolutely fine when we introduce additional column as well so it is not breaking anything but rather it is displaying that values based on that particular uh, hierarchy that has been used in that particular visual so i hope this uh, simplifies to your understanding of how to uh, make a dynamic uh, top end entities being created on top of your data and uh, if you are able to replicate the scenario in your real time scenarios please do leave a comment and a thumbs up so that it would help me to promote and uh, create such more uh, uh, videos thereafter so thank you so much and see you in the next video